Hey divers, Alec Pierce Scuba, Tech Tips again. Uh, okay, this is uh, an, again another one of my tech tips in direct response to one of your questions or comments. Somebody asked a while ago, how do I know if my regulator needs to be serviced? That's a good question. I mean, if you look at the warranty, it says, in most cases, it used to say anyway, it used to say one year. Every year you had to have a service. Well, between you and I, if you're a heavy duty diver doing 100, 150, 200 dives a year, that may seem like a lot of dives to some of you, but that's not that uncommon. I did 200 or more dives every year for many, many years, but that's another story. In that case, then your reg needs to be serviced every year, maybe more often, if you're in a marine environment and depending on what you're doing. But for the vast majority of divers who do 10 to 20 dives a year, you see most divers, scuba divers, certified scuba divers, they, they, they go south for a week and they do a half a dozen dives. Maybe they do that twice. That's 12 dives. Maybe they go to their friend's cottage and they do two more dives. So 12, 15 dives. That's what they do in a year. Well, my regulator, is generally speaking, 25, 35, 45, roughly 50 dives might be the maximum uh, at length of time before you'd want to have your regulator checked. So the idea, the older idea of having a check in service every year, uh, you know, Check your warranty. Most warranties now have changed, actually, and they need, as they suggest, a service every two years. So there's an indication. Regulars are, are, are pretty rugged. So you've been diving. You've got, you know, not too sure. You haven't been logging your dives, but you're not too sure how many dives you have on it. And, and you're going on a dive trip. Maybe you haven't used it for a very, very long time. You pull it out of the, the, the box and take the dust off it and so on. Anyway, the question arises, gosh, do I need to have it serviced? Well, if it's been a very, very long time, the answer is yes, get it serviced. Because the seats, the silicone seats, the rubber seats, the diaphragm, the exhaust valves, everything deteriorates even in time. Even if you have it sealed up, it'll still deteriorate. So if it's been a long time, by a long time, I mean two years or more, take it in for service. Absolutely. You don't want to go diving for a reg that hasn't been looked at in more than two years. But you can actually physically look at a regulator and get some idea as to whether or not it should be serviced. Let me give you a couple of tips. That's what this is. These are tips. And it'll help you a little bit. Now, the regulator I've chosen happens to be an old regulator. I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to tell you how old it is. This regulator is almost 50 years old. That doesn't matter. It's made of chromed brass. Uh, rubber deteriorates and a lot of plastic and so on. But it'll, be, it'll work for our example. Here are the things to look for, okay? Get in a little closer here, Kev, if you would. So pick up your regulator and take a look at it. First of all, look at the general regulator all over. When this was first made, it was nice and shiny, chrome, just like the bumper of your car. And you can see now that this is pretty scratched up, a couple of dents in it, first stage as well. So this has got a lot of dives on it. But maybe that's the way it was when you put it away six months or so ago. Having scratches on the chrome is not necessarily bad. If there are areas that are completely scratched off and now the gold colored brass, brassy colored brass, I guess brass looks brassy, doesn't it? The brass is showing through. Gosh, you know, you should maybe have a check. Same on the first stage. How else can you check? Well, one thing you can do is undo the, the knob. Can you see in here, Kevin? Can you see the, the, uh, the knob as I'm undoing it here? Just give me one second here. I just want to show you something. I can show you this right here. For comparison, here's a brand new knob. Let me just get this out of here. And pardon me for this, folks. I didn't think of this until just now. But here's a brand, brand new knob. Can you see that? And look at the one that's coming out of this regular. Can you see the white crust on it? Can you see the black goop on it as well? The white crust is, in fact, exactly that. It's crust. Probably a combination of uh, marine life. Uh, 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 chrome being worn off and being mixed up with water and so on. You can see it's also a lot darker. That is probably a bit of lubricant that's got mixed in there and mixed in with the chrome dust as well. These threads are getting worn. Now that's just an indication that it's got a lot of dives on it, but that white can be a concern. That white crust on there can be a concern. That's one thing to look at. The next and probably the most important thing you can do is look down inside. Here's where the air goes in. It goes onto your tank. Air goes in through here. And the first thing that the air does when it goes into your regulator is go through a filter. That filter is designed to take out all the dirt. And that does a pretty good job. They're called the sintered bronze filters. And, and they do a pretty good job of taking out all the dirt. The difficulty is this, that the filter itself, as it takes out the dirt, gets clogged up. 
just like your vacuum cleaner or anything else that you have at home. Slowly but surely, that filter gets clogged up. Also, if you get any moisture on that filter, it's made of chromed, bra uh, uh, centered bronze. And bronze, if you know anything about bronze, if you look at outdoor statues and so on, bronze, when they get uh, uh, verdigious on them, that's a fancy name for green stuff, they also will get plugged up and they won't work anymore. When they get very badly plugged up, uh, they won't stop dirt from going in. Some dirt will actually go through because you have 3,000 psi of pressure going through there. So the filter will get slowly and slowly plugged up as it cleans the air, but eventually the filter is completely plugged. It won't stop any more dirt going through, but the 3,000 psi will actually force some through. So now that dirt is going into the regulator. How do you know? Take a look. Here's what a used filter looks like. Compare that. I'm going to hold that still there, Kevin. And she's a bit brown. It's not too terribly bad. It was quite brown. That's dirt. It stopped. Here's a brand new one. Can you see the difference? The brand new one is nice and shiny and chromey. The old dirty filters. Well, here's a, here's a better example, Kevin. Let me show you this one. So here's the filter out of your regulator. Can you see it's green and dirty as well? The green is bad news. That means you got some water in there. There's a brand new one. Now look at that. Can you see how that one's shiny, Kevin? Can you see the difference there? Have you seen green or white on the filter? Time for service. At the very least, you have to have the filter changed. And if the filter needs to be changed because it's dirty, then the components inside will have to be checked and cleaned as well. That's one of the main things you can look at. Now, something else to keep in mind is, I mentioned earlier, the rubber deteriorates too. So check your hoses right there. I don't know if you can see that, Kevin. Can you see... Can you focus right here? Underneath, I'm going to bend this down. Can you see what happens there? Can you see the rubber cover? The rubber here is coming off of the cover. It's no longer attached. It's been bent so many times. So there's an indication as well that this regulator should get serviced. You may need new hoses. They're not stupidly expensive. Check the surface. Check the finish. Look for green. Look for white. Look for any knobs or screws that have a brassy color to them. And if that's the case, if any of those signs have shown up on your regulator, then you should take it into the service center. It was a very, very old regulator, what we might call a vintage regulator, more than, more than 25 or 35 years old, then you might want to go into the service center, the, the dive store, your local dive store, and talk about a trade-in. Maybe looking at a new regulator, assuming that you're going to be doing some diving anyway. And here's a couple of tips. The main one is that filter. It doesn't hurt every once in a while to check that filter. Even after just a single dive, if you've got some salt water in there, it'll start to corrode, turn green. Green or white, bad news. Shiny chrome, good news. Anyway, a couple of ideas there, a couple of things to look at, guys. Hope that helped a little bit. Alec Pierce, Tech Tips, Alec Pierce Scuba. Tech Tips, talk to you again real soon.